Hello everypony, Adele over here. Warning, this video will contain pictures from Google that is not mine, so please give respect to the owners of these pictures and copyrights. And also warning, it's going to contain my personally opinion about the perfect pair episode and why I feel like it's not necessary to see uh, Applejack's parents' death in the My Little Pony show. So without further ado, yeah, it's 3, 2, 1, here we go. So I have been hearing a lot of people saying that they want to have the full background story of the, you know, Applejack's parents and stuff like that. But I do believe that we have confirmation in the perfect pair episode. Like, I know that Burnt Oak have talked about that he wants to tell more stories about, you know, the parents or at least the dad and he's crying. And we see like Grand Pair, Pair uh, also crying and they're talking about them in past sentences. They're like... It, I don't need more confirmation, like I'm 100% sure that they're uh, passed away in some shape, way or form. And I also had the other video where I actually talk about the way that I feel like they passed away. Like this is very hard for me to actually uh, talk about because like I don't feel like it's necessary to actually uh, put this into this show. Like. I know that Disney have done stuff like this before with, uh, of course, Bambi and other, uh, you know, Disney deaths of families and stuff like that. And I do agree with the, if, if there is a happy ending, like children can maybe take it. But I'm also like, do we really need like death, destruction and stuff like that in this My Little Pony show? Maybe we need a show where, like, there's not, you know, stuff like this in it. Like, I don't, I don't, in my mind, I cannot see why we need uh, more confirmation uh, about this. Because, like, my mind is already, like, racing with uh, all of these ideas about how they have passed away and stuff like that. And it's not pleasant for me to actually think about I will leave a link to the video where I'm talking about it and I also like am thankful for a great uh, grandpair that he actually came back to his family because like I um, I lost my granddad in 2011 and sometimes it's hard for me to actually think about all of this stuff and I'm like I don't need to have um, more death in My Little Pony show or how to say that or at least not on screen like I was actually predicting an episode with Granny Smith dying and her um, you know that uh, Applejack would go to Twilight and ask if she could see the last memory of her and it would be the bubble with uh, you know Applejack being held by her parents and stuff like that so we can uh, definitely see some confirmation about them passing away and stuff like that and it doesn't need to be like um on screen or how to say that i don't believe that we it's necessary to know how it it happened like I'm also thinking a little bit about the Joker. Like the Joker has all of these uh, different kind of background stories, and uh, with ever you want, it's like your mind will al always take you to places where it's like maybe a little bit more grim or it's uh, a little bit more happy. Actually, what happened. Um, but yeah, I also feel like this is what the show was actually trying to go for. A uh, way to actually uh, subtle hint that they were uh, passed away and stuff like that. And then also maybe, you know, the parents of the ones that are actually watching My Little Pony. And I know that the minority is uh, bronies now, so, you know somebody that can actually handle this but we also know that a lot of children are actually watching my little pony still 
and I do feel like uh, this episode is good to actually watch with your you know parents or how to say that or somebody that are taking care of you because like they can explain what happened to them and without you know there being any deaths on in the my little pony show it 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 doesn't need to be there because you know that you you sit down and you talk with your uh, family friends or the ones that are taking care of you i hope that uh, you know <laughs> how uh, you think it happened and you know what you can do to actually um you know be coming over this sadness or how to say that to loss of uh, family members and stuff like that because it can be very hard and i also sometimes go out to you know the graveyard where my uh, granddad is buried and be like visiting him but yeah i also am very thankful that i still have both both of my grandmoms uh, still i will actually call them after this episode is done or after i talked about this uh, I do believe that this The Perfect Pair episode makes us think about family, uh, we, it makes us think about loss without e uh, showing, you know, loss of family. And I also feel like uh, maybe in future we will have um, an episode that are taking the loss of a good friend or maybe the loss of a family member or somebody that actually cares for you very much maybe there will be a, a you know big breakup in one of the relationships that there is but i don't think like the my little pony show is going to actually show a direct death in into my little pony show and if they do that i don't think like this is necessary i do believe that there is a reason why they have not shown and i also feel like it was very subtle but i do feel like i have the confirmation now and i don't know about you guys but i really do don't want to have future uh, you know episodes with um death or like I do believe that it's a good thing to actually talk about and also feel like it's a good thing to actually have in into the My Little Pony, uh, you know, universe or how to say that. But I also am thinking about the episode with Rainbow Dad that's taking her parents for granted. And I'm like, yeah, I, I really wanted to also talk about, you know, that with my loved ones or how to say that. Um, actually, after the episode with Rainbow Dash, I also called my, uh, you know, mom because like, I know that I'm not taking my parents for granted, but like, I still feel like there's um, something to be said in these episodes. And, uh, you know, when you're sitting and watching, maybe you are not thinking that much about, you know, the deeper meanings of these episodes. And also I would like to add that there is the, you know, mirror that Twilight actually gets uh, for uh, Starlight. And I do believe maybe in future we will see an episode where Twilight actually loses Starlight or vice versa and i know that this is sound, trying to sound very um what is that against uh, starlight or against twilight but i'm not i'm just saying to you guys that i do believe that the into future the mlp episodes are going to be like more deep going or how to say that but there will always be like these episodes that are not good enough for people to actually, um, you know, go in depth. And I do believe that, um, yeah, there could have been some explanation into the episode, uh, more explanation about how they, you know, died and stuff like that. But I still am not a big fan of this no more and I am like thinking about why we 
want this actually uh, why we don't want the happy ending why we don't like want the all of the good stuff instead of you know putting ourselves into misery or how to say that but uh, yeah that was actually all for today uh, do remember that inspiration is right around the corner do remember to take care of yourself and your loved ones how much how more can i say what more can i say i really um do feel like i uh, i know that i have one time been a good uh, or a big fan of you know all of this with uh, gore and death and destruction and stuff like that but yeah, I will say that something like happened and I am very thankful for like now that I have taken away from that um, and only focusing on, you know, positive stuff that that is actually helping me a lot. So yeah, that is actually all that I have to say. Yeah, okay. Bye.